So here we are, all buttoned up and complete. Fans working. Look at that ginormous fan. 230 millimeters. Yeah, hello windows. Um, here's the 200 millimeter fan in the front. And then up top, another one. Big honking fan. And then in the rear, there's a non-lighted 140 millimeter fan. Now, all these fans have a speed control. The speed control is up here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, but here it is. If they're on low now, I'm turn it all the way up to high. So the fans are on high now. And there really is no appreciable difference in sound. Now, they, these are all LED fans except for the one in the very back. The one on top is an LED fan. This one's an LED fan. And this one's an LED fan. And they're not just blue. There's blue, green, red, And then a pattern. Christmas time, I guess. And that's one of the other things it does is this weird pulsing. This is the other effect I was going to show you. Here, let me hit the button again. This is they're 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 actually, the LEDs are actually flickering at a very high rate, probably 30 30 a second. Um, but it gives this weird effect with the fans, like the blades are turning uh, very slowly. It's pretty dang cool. So it has several different effects. And of course it has an off mode. Fans are light, Lights completely off, fans are still spinning. Uh, I like it. like this mode the best. That weird flickering. The one up top's doing it too. It does it in multicolors. Check out that action. But of course the, the power and hard drive light, the power light is recessed into the power button itself. The hard drive activity light's nothing special, it's just an amber light. And of course we've got our two USB 2.0, or four USB 2.0 ports up here, and headphone microphone jack up here. Uh, we are done. Cool. After four years, I finally have a new case. So, what do I think of the Thermaltake Element G gaming case. I think it is a kick-ass product. Uh, I would say a badass product. In badass, badass geeks fashion, this is a badass product. Massive, massive, massive amounts of airflow due to these huge fans. My only concern is should, since these are such oddball sized fans, we have a 230 millimeter fan here and we have a 200 millimeter fan here, a 200 millimeter fan up top, and a 140 millimeter fan in the back. Uh, my only concern is, should the fans go out, uh, replacing them could be rather difficult. Um, I've never seen them sold anywhere, uh, but that's not really a complaint, just an observation. I have to say, that it is a kick-ass product. Thank you, Thermaltake. Thermal so, that ends our first hardware review in a long while. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys have been bugging me and bugging me and bugging me for hardware reviews. Uh, if you have any questions about the case, 
questions about my review, constructive criticism, uh, please feel free to post it on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can get there by going to www.noxtech.com. That'll take you straight to my YouTube channel. Or you can go directly to the YouTube channel. It's www.youtube.com forward slash noxtech, N-O-X-T-E-K. Uh, you can also email me. My email is jason at gmail.com. So J-A-S-O-N at G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to also welcome you to go and visit us at GameBeat.net, www.GameBeat.net. It's our gaming forum, PC uh, uh, geek and gaming forum. So we talk about hardware, software, and most of all, games. Uh, love to see you there. Please spread the word. If, if you want to do one thing to help us, uh, aside from donating uh, computer parts, to the cause, uh, then you can spread the word about GameBeat.net and about my channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching. This is Jason Holton from GameBeat.net. I'll see you later.